guys, Dan with S3 Archery here, and I wanted to bring you another review on a different glove this time. I've got the Damascus um, doe skin glove here, and this is a little bit of a different setup than the previous Black Widow glove that I had done a review for you on, the stick tight glove. And so I wanted to go into why I'm shooting this glove, some of the things that I've found with it, and maybe who this would be good and maybe not so good for. And so I started shooting this glove here in January, and the reason that I went to it is I wanted to try something a little bit different than the one that I had had before. And this one is a kind of completely opposite style of glove to the Black Widow glove that I had been shooting. Um, this is made out of doe skin, and so it's extremely thin. Um, the benefit of that is that you really get a positive anchor point on your face. You can feel that things are really locked up and tight. And so then because of that, I found that I get a little bit cleaner release um, as opposed to the other style of glove I was shooting. The downside of a really thin glove though is that it doesn't give you a lot of protection for the fingertips. And so if you're shooting a heavy poundage bow or you've got a bow that's pretty short, axle to axle kind of AMO, it's going to give you a lot more kind of fingerprints and you're going to feel that. And so for me, I'm shooting a 47 pound bow, 62 inch AMO, and it's pretty comfortable, but I do feel it. Um, a lot more than with the Black Widow glove that's a little bit thicker. Um, because it's so thin as well, it comes pretty well broken in right out of the package. You don't have to put thousands of shots to get it just the right fit. It's pretty much right to go from the beginning as long as you get the correct size. The way that this attaches is it's just around the wrist with a Velcro strap, and it has the kind of top side of your hand, but it also has a full palm side here. And so one nice thing about that is as you're shooting and you're releasing, it doesn't move on your fingers at all. Especially, I kind of recommend getting a pretty tight glove to your fingers because not only does it give you that positive feeling, but it doesn't move on you. I think that um, if you have a glove that needs to be reset every time, it's kind of a hassle for you as, a, as an archer. And so with some gloves you shoot, I would tap it on my leg just to kind of reset the finger stalls. This one, because it's kind of a complete wrap and it has that palm design, there's really very minimal movement at all. Another benefit to this style is because it has that palm piece, when you're pulling out an arrow from a high density target, it gives you a little bit more traction on that arrow and it prevents um, you know, skin tears or other things depending on how hard you're putting that arrow in there. And so definitely a glove that I've enjoyed shooting um, and I'm glad that I've kind of played around and tried different things and I'll continue to shoot this now for um, probably into the summer. This glove here already has a couple thousand shots on it, and there's definitely wear noticeable on the fingertips. And so durability wise, with a thinner leather, softer leather, it's not gonna kind of have that longevity that a thicker leather is gonna have. Um, but under $20 for a new glove, if you're shooting a lot, you just know that you're gonna have to get a couple of gloves over the course of several years. And if that's okay with you, then definitely um, a glove worth checking out. There's definitely other gloves out there as well that are a little bit thicker, kind of in between the Black Widow and this one, and so you'll probably see some of those in the future. But for right now, if you're shooting a lighter poundage bow and you don't mind a little bit of finger feel, um, I think a glove like this is definitely going to give you um, some pretty good performance. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this little review that I did for you on this glove here, and if you enjoyed this one, definitely check out our YouTube channel. We've got a lot of other reviews out there, as well as our website, s3archery.com. A lot of the stuff that we post here will be posted there as well. So thanks for tuning in.